Today I'm going to show you how to make this candy holder. It's really nice for mini candy bars and you just slip it in this pocket like that. And to make this you need the two tags big die, which is this one right here. You're going to use the one that has the scallop part. You'll need a strip of paper that's two and a half by nine and a half. And then we're going to score it at four and three quarters. Once you scored it, you want to fold it in half on that score line. You're going to take your two tags die and see where I've made the gel pin mark. That is where it cuts at the bottom of the die. And because we have a fold, we want to place that just a little lower than that so that it doesn't cut our fold off. So now you would just run this through the big shot and you end up with a piece that looks like this. So the next step is to line your fold up on the Simply Scored and we're just going to score just below one of the flaps where the scallop is. And once you've done that, you're going to fold it closed again and just fold on that line. So now we have the pocket. So the next thing you want to do is take a little bit of sticky strip. We're just going to take a very small amount and place it on that flap. And before you turn it over, you're going to take your ribbon. This is gumball green and it's about 8 inches long and you're just going to tie your knot on the side like this and this is what's going to hold it closed when you put your candy in but you're just going to do it on the side and if it helps you might want to close that flap over before you tie it just to see how it's going to fit So now we have it closed, so you're just going to peel off that red tape. And I'm also going to put a piece to decorate with. This is um, one and a half by two inches. And I'm just going to put it on with snail. So just center that and then close your flap like so. All right, now we're going to trim our ribbon. And once you get your ribbon trimmed, you're going to want to punch a one and three fourths inch scallop circle out of gumball green like this. And just put that onto your scallop piece, like so. We are finished with our Simply Scored, so I'm going to move that. All right, so now we're going to do the stamping. So you just need a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock. I'm using the Mixed Medley Hostess stamp set for this. I'm going to use the Snowflake here and the Merry Christmas Sentiment. I'm using real red ink and I'm just going to stamp that and then I'm going to use gumball green ink for my Merry Christmas. And then you'll just close your ink pads up and we're going to punch these. The Merry Christmas is punched using the 3 4 circle punch. And Snowflake is punched with the 1 and 3 8 circle punch. So once you've done that, you're going to take a dimensional and put it on the back of your Merry Christmas. And the Snowflake piece, you're just going to put Snail on it. 
add that to the middle of your scallop circle. Take the peeling off your dimensional and add that to the middle. And now you have a candy holder. It's really simple, really fast. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, just let me know.